Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about how to zero out a storage disk uh, in Windows using sdelete. Um, in prior videos I've shown you how to zero out a hard drive using uh, DD. Uh, DD is built into um, uh, Linux almost always by default. Uh, however, Windows does not have DD by default, so we have to download other utilities. And the utility that I'm going to use today is a command line utility called sdelete from sysinternals. Sysinternals is part of Microsoft. Um, so we have to first download uh, from the sysinternals website uh, sdelete, and then the version I'm using is 2.01. Okay, so once you download sdelete, uh, you'll get this zip folder, and if you open up the zip folder, uh, it has three files in it, the EULA, and then sdelete, uh, basically 32-bit, and then sdelete 64. So to install them, all you have to do is open up the C drive Windows System32 folder, um, and then just drag and drop sdelete into the System32 folder. That will let you run sdelete from the command line without having to uh, enter the entire path uh, to, uh, for sdelete every single time. Okay, so once we have sdelete installed in C drive Windows System 32 or any other path that you have, um, so for example, I sometimes create a um, utilities folder and then you add that utilities folder to my path and then just drop all of my tools into the utilities folder. Um, basically same result, okay? You just want to be able to ch type only the name um, instead of typing the full path, okay? So we've downloaded sdelete, we've installed it in our path, and now we need to um, find our disk that we're interested in zeroing out, okay? So I'm going to, just to show you the current state of our disk, I'm going to open up WinHex, uh, which is a hex editor, and I'm going to open our disk, and the disk I'm interested in is the SanDisk Extreme USB stick, click OK. And then from this, you can see that there is a partition. Uh, it's mounted as E drive or detected as E drive in this uh, computer. And then we can see that there is some structure here. So missing operating system, um, operating system load error. These are kind of should be relatively familiar for the beginning of a disk. OK, and then there's some data um, on this disk. OK, so I know that there is some data on the disk. Um, so now we need to wipe everything off. So what you do next is open up a command line. So just type CMD and then right click on command prompt and run as administrator. I'm going to run as administrator because I need to um, access the hard disk and you need administrator pri privileges to do that. Okay. So whenever you open up command prompt, if you've installed sdelete in your path, you should just be able to type sdelete and then you'll get this help menu if it's correctly installed. If you don't get this help menu, if it says that the command is not found, then uh, sdelete is not in your path and you need to make sure that you've uh, installed it where um, uh, where your computer can find it. Okay, um, so sdelete has a couple different options. For example, it can um, uh, securely delete files and directories. Um, it can go over a drive letter or a partition and try to securely delete everything from the partition. And what we want is physical disk, right? So um, S delete and then dash P is the number of passes. The default is one. And then zero or C, so clean free space or zero free space out. We want zero. Um, and the reason we want zero is because we want to be able to prove that there is no data left on this disk. If you clean it or if you uh, add random data, then you don't know if um, uh, it's harder to prove that that random data uh, didn't have some original data in it. But if it's all zeros, you know that there's no data there. Um, and then the physical disk number. OK, uh, so basically we do S delete passes uh, zero out physical disk number. So I'm going to do uh, sdelete. But before I do that, I need to find the physical disk number. So there's a couple different methods to do that. But what I use is WMIC disk drive list brief. WMIC disk drive list brief. 
Okay, and then that will give us a brief listing of the drives detected in this system. You can see that we have two. This VBox hard disk is the internal hard drive, and then the SanDisk Extreme USB device is the external drive, and that's the, the disk that we want to zero out right now. And it is on physical drive one. Okay, so what's uh, what we need to remember here is one. Okay, uh, partitions. Yep, everything else looks good. So just remember physical drive. In my case, physical drive one. You might have um, different drives. Okay. Now, if I run s delete s delete uh, dash z and then one s delete z one and hit enter, it should give me a warning. Yeah, so in this case, this disk does have a volume installed, right? So there is a volume in this disk right now, and sdelete will say, hey, this disk has a volume, I'm not going to zero it out, which to me doesn't make any sense, but maybe it's a security feature, I'm not really sure why. Um, DD would just happily overwrite everything, um, which is more dangerous, but also more handy <laughs> in this case. Um, so the first thing that we have to do is actually delete the volume. Now there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, if you like the GUI, you can type disk MGR, disk MGR, and then that will open up disk manager. Um, and then you can see my volume is here. You can right click on it and then just try to delete the volume. I've had actually some bad experience with using disk manager this way. Um, but you can definitely do it that way. But we're going to do it from the command line. So I'm going to use disk manager or disk part from the command line. So I just type disk P A R T D I S K P A R T. And then this gets us into a, um, uh, uh interactive uh, program. So disk part, and we see now the disk part um, command prompt. So I want to list volume, list volume. Um, and then that tells me basically all of the volumes available in the disk right now. And we can see our volume three, E drive, deft eight, fat 32, removable 29 gig healthy. That's exactly um, what I'm interested in. Okay. So, um, Volume three is what I want to get rid of. Okay, so then we select volume three. Volume three is the selected volume and then delete volume. Now make sure you know exactly what you're selecting because when you delete this, the volume is gone and um, you'll have to try to recover in a different way. Okay, so disk part successfully deleted the volume. So then we can list volume again, list volume. And then we should see uh, now all of the labels and everything are gone. So that looks good. So then we exit. Then we didn't want to run S delete dash Z for zero out and then drive one again and then click or hit enter. Okay, so now it's a uh, pass zero progress 1% um, 100 meg per second. Um, yeah. So it's going through and basically what this should be doing is just like DD, it should just write zeros from the beginning to the end of the disk. Uh, and then whenever we get to the, the end, um, uh, it should have zeros all the way through. So just to see, I think 9% is probably enough. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Stop it now if I can. Yep. So I've just exited out, but it's already done 10%. So let's go back to hex editor and then go to tools, open disk, and then the SanDisk Extreme again, click OK. And you see that at the beginning of the disk, everything is zeros. So it is actually zeroing everything out. Let's see if there's any data left. Yeah, so I got, I didn't get all the way through the disk. We only got like 10%-ish. Um, and then there was still some data. So you would want to run this all the way through. Um, and then uh, depending on the type of disk, one pass is enough, um, other disks, especially magnetic media, you might want to run, you know, two or three passes um, or more. So in this case, um, what we've done here is zeroed out the disk. And the reason that we want to zero out the disk uh, before we um, uh, try to use it for, for example, another case, let's say that I have one hard drive dedicated to files related to suspect data. 
Um, and the only thing that goes on that disk is suspect data from a different case, from each case. Um, if we are um, very rich, we can probably afford a different hard drive for every single case. Um, but sometimes it's, it's cheaper and more efficient to reuse the disk. But if we re reuse the same disk from multiple cases, then somebody could make the claim that um, remnants of an old case are still available on the current disk, right? So before we reuse the disk for a new case, we need to make sure to zero out everything and then open up the disk in a hex viewer and prove that all of the data has actually been zeroed out. Like in this case, I can see that some data hasn't been. Um, so I want to prove that all the data has been zeroed out, document that, the, the date that I zeroed everything out, maybe take screenshots about the fact that there is no more data on it, then reformat the disk, and then um, assuming that our court accepts that kind of uh, that kind of work, which I think most jurisdictions do, then the court should accept um, us storing a different case on that same disk because it has been wiped completely clean. So that's the justification for this. Um, I'm not trying to do any data hiding or anything like that. We are trying to clean the disk from prior suspect data. That's that's what we're trying to do here. So basically a pretty quick way to uh, uh, zero out any disks that you have as long as you delete the volume first. But maybe you just want to zero out the um, partition. But for forensic investigations, I feel more comfortable uh, completely wiping out the entire disk. Okay, so that's it for sdelete. Thank you very much.